Hello. Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 6. It says, There will be a day when the watchmen cry out on the hills of Ephraim, Come, let us go up to Zion, to the Lord our God. A couple of things I want us to note here. Firstly, these were the people, the northern tribes, who'd set up their own way of worship. And now they're turning back and they're realizing there's a God way. And they're saying, we will go to Zion. We will worship God there. And I love that there is a returning to the ways of the Lord. The other thing to note is that there will come the cry, come, let us go and worship the Lord. And I want to encourage you, some of you have not been able to be involved in corporate worship for a long time. We haven't been able to experience big festivals and feasts and conferences. The day will come when the cry will go out. Come on, let us go up. Let's worship together. You know, the best is yet to come. The Lord is still busy with his people. God is working in the church. He's working in the nation. And he's going to cause all things to come into alignment that he will receive the glory that's due his name. Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you for the prophetic promise that the cry will ring out again. Come, let us go up. Let's worship the Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are with us wherever we go. But we're looking forward to the time when we can gather with the great multitudes of believers to lift up your name, to worship you, in spirit and in truth. Thank you, Lord, that your hand is upon the body of Christ. And so we pray for all the churches across the city. And we ask, Lord, that you would release your favor upon them, that you would cause them to be strong, that they would hold the line, that they would experience your peace, your joy, and your love. And we're asking, Lord, for increase across the whole body of Christ in Joyburg, especially from this week. Amen. Bless you. Have a great day.